Hello and welcome to Gad About United. This is the second of the legends in less than five minutes. Growing up in the Northwest and specifically the Manchester area in the 80s and 90s, there would always be talk of the almost mythical Busby Babes. Whether it was about their achievements, a significant anniversary or a footballing documentary on TV on their rise and ultimately their destruction in the tragic Munich air disaster. But one name always seemed to be mentioned more or more loudly than the others that of Duncan Edwards. Born in Dudley in the West Midlands, in the heart of the industrial black country, the youthful Duncan excelled at soccer from a young age and was soon the talk of the local area as word spread through the scouting network. As Duncan Edwards grew into a young man, his attributes were there for all to see. A powerful physique, barrel-chested with legs like tree trunks. His stature was accentuated by an athletic build as his 12-stone frame almost burst out of his shirt. Bobby Charlton said of him, Duncan was already the complete footballer, mighty in the air, unbreakable in the tackle, rampaging tirelessly across the pitch. He was already a colossus. Managers, coaches, scouts and his peers noted that the teenage Duncan was powerful, not only in his shooting but physically in the challenge. Both footed, he was brave, intelligent and could read the game that outwitted opponents. It was also observed that he could play in almost any position, from centre back to his regular spot at left half, to be pushed up front to grab a goal. Both Jimmy Murphy, the assistant United manager and youth manager, and Matt Busby, both commented that he was the most technically gifted player they'd ever seen. United had worked hard to persuade Duncan to commit to them. However, his parents received an almost daily visit from legendary Wolves boss Stan Cullis. United needn't have worried. According to his mother Anne, Duncan is quoted to have said, Mom, the best club I would like to go to in the country is Manchester United. Before he'd even signed, he may not have been from the back streets of Trafford, Bury or Salford, but he was already one of our own. Relatively speaking for that era, and the way Matt Busby liked to introduce youth into the first team, that at 16 years and 185 days of age, eight months after he joined the club, he became the youngest ever Football League debutant post-war. By comparison, Bobby Charlton had to wait almost three years to get his chance after being signed as a 15-year-old. At the age of just 18, the Dudley youngster, almost exactly two years after his United debut, made his England debut. Unfortunately, Duncan Edwards only managed four full seasons at Old Trafford, albeit he played matches either side of those seasons, from 1952-53 to 1957-58. By the time of his passing, Duncan had accrued 177 appearances for the Reds in all competitions, scoring 21 goals. Along with Bobby Charlton, Duncan Edwards took his two years of national service and was so compelled to play for the army side. Duncan played a lot for the army, but he didn't mind. In the 55-56 season, with games for the United First Team, Youth Team, England and the army, Duncan played around 100 matches that season. Now compare that to players today who need to be rested, rotated, mollycoddled, yet the Dudley boy was always up for another match. Duncan Edwards may have been at the club for an all too short a time, but he did manage to be an integral part of his side in two league championship wins, two charity shields, an FA Cup final defeat, narrowly missing out on the double, and a couple of European Cup semi-final appearances. Sadly, it would be impossible to do a tribute video to a United legend who played in the Busby Babes era without mentioning the Munich air disaster in a little more detail. On the 6th of February 1958, after securing a place in the European Cup semi-final with a comfortable 3 all draw versus Partizan Belgrade, the team's chartered plane refuelled at Munich Airport on the way home to Manchester. After two failed attempts to take off and a lot of deep foreboding amongst the passengers, the captain tried to take off for a third time. Unfortunately, the plane slid on the slush on the runway and crashed into some houses located at the end of the strip. Barely 21 years of age, Duncan Edwards succumbed to his injuries just over two weeks after the accident. The Munich doctors commented on the unbelievable fight for life he maintained over those 15 days, something which epitomised his character. According to his mother, a heavily sedated Duncan's last words were, Come on, Mum, get me home quick. We're playing Wolves on Saturday, and I can't miss that. He'd said something similar to Jimmy Murphy too earlier in his stay. That was Duncan Edwards' commitment and single-mindedness to United. Football, the team and the club above everything. Duncan Edwards died on the 21st of February at 2 in the morning and was buried at Queen's Cross Cemetery next to his baby sister Carol Ann, who died 11 years earlier. Duncan Edwards will always be what might have been for both club and country as well as the family he left all too soon. 
We can only remember through footage and anecdotes of those who actually saw him play what a wonderful player he actually was. So Bobby Charlton said of his good friend, Duncan Edwards is the one person I ever felt inferior to. I've never known anyone so gifted, so strong and with such a presence. I have a few words about what Duncan Edwards means to you and his potential and what we lost by commenting below. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for your support.